Hello and welcome back everybody to another TCG Online pack opening. Today we will be opening 8 Astro Radiance packs. Oh snap, it's got that boy on there from freaking Legends of Arceus. Our Dialga boy, I still need to play that game. I like these energies though, look at that, that is... That, that is freaking cool. I've, we haven't seen that much, like, <clears throat> how to put it, flare with an energy in a while, to be honest. that That's good. I like that a lot. All right, we got ourselves a cricket tot hanging out on a branch, a couple of hoot hoot up in the tree, sleeping. Well, that one's on watch, I suppose. Or he's just looking pissed off because somebody just woke him up in the middle of the day. And uh, we got an Oshawott swimming through the ocean, a bronzer. Ooh. Looks like he's in some kind of ruins of some sort, because we got a Sneasel statue behind it. And some kind of thing that reminds me of Arceus' legs. Um, Rowlet, hanging out in the forest, looking very surprised. Ooh, a Magneton at sunset. Oh, that's beautiful. I like the, um, I like the little bits of sunshine all over Magneton. That's really cool. Uh, Gape Jaw Bog? Okay, Gape Jaw Bog. <laughs> Er, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, Mega flying over looks like some islands. Um, a gutsy pickaxe for our reverse. And for the rare. Ooh, Husanian. I think that's how you pronounce it. Arcanine. Very nice. Look at that boy. Hmm. That's a, I love. The alternate forms for, um, newer Pokemon is such a cool way to, like, improve designs on old Pokemon and give you something fresh but still nostalgic at the same time. Hmm, good stuff. Ooh, got a Steel Energy this time, followed up by a Husanian Basculin, a Scyther cutting up the grass. I wonder if... I wonder if they're in Gen 3, even though that... Whatever. I guess she's trying to catch the Scyther more than anything. Uh, we got some Mantine jumping out of the water. Uh, a Teddy Ursa hanging out on top of the roof. A uh, hair across in the forest, a gardenia's vigor, Azelf hanging out by some trees and some water, Silen, I think is their name, not sure. For our fancy reverse, we have ooh, a radiant Greninja. So I guess these are the fancy boys for this one. Look at that boy! Look at that boy! That's freaking cool. I like it. I like it. I can't wait to actually open these IRL. Um, Reggie Ice. Reg Ice. Reggie. Yeah, Reg Ice. Whatever. <laughs> Words. For our rare, he is in that frozen cave. A bit different from the one we saw the other day of him in the frozen cave. Alright, next pack we go to. Let's see what we got. I'm very curious to see. We got ourselves a lightning energy to start us off. I, mm. I just love that so much. Uh, if I... Mm, nah, that'd be a lot of work. I was gonna say, if I didn't already have all those other ones as my background for IRL pack openings, I would definitely stick those up. I love that. I love it so much. Got ourselves a Cyndaquil hanging out by the river. Plenty of water and river and forest here. Hippopotas. Is he getting... Once again, I question if they're trying to catch them or that they're actual Pokemon. Although I'm going to bet that they're trying to catch them. We got a Bergmite in the snow, of course. A Patil. Ooh, just kind of hanging out with some flowers. I like the flowers. It's very nice. The plants. Um, a Nicket with a berry of sorts. A Trekking... Uh, not a... Trekking shoes. Um, we got a Drift Bloom flying high over the city. A Detrix firing out um, feathers. <laughs> a perugly who just broke a vase and doesn't seem to care at all for our reverse and for the rare we have a Husanian Shamarot look at that boy right there alright let's move along looks like we're already halfway there halfway there halfway there alright we got ourselves another steel energy to start us off followed up by a bar boat Hanging out in the water. Also looks to be around some sort of ruins. A mischievous. Hanging out in the city. And I like the freaking... 
Um, the Galarian, I think it's Galarian, wheezing in the background for the smokestacks. That's really cool. Husanian Sneasel. That is a really cool design. I have not, once again, I have not played the game, so all these Husanian, most, uh, not all of them, a lot of the Husanian boys are new to me. Uh, we got Rolf hanging out in a flower field. Magnemite going through camp, it looks like. A Bisharp cutting up some trees. Spicy seasoned curry. Look at that. I really like that. For it being food, it looks very realistic, I guess, which is kind of, mm. I wouldn't say that's odd for the series. I don't know. It's just we're used to seeing berries and things, not actual food. Cricketoon in the forest. An Eevee laying down in a clearing, it looks like, for our reverse and for the rare of the pack. We got a Deancey Hollow. Very nice. I like the background a lot. All the freaking crystal whoops. All the freaking crystals and stuff look really nice. Alright, moving along, moving along. Badoop. Open in the pack. Alright, what do we have? What do we have? A water energy to start us off. Very nice looking as well. We got a pseudo wudo walking around. A Drifloon. Looks like he's attaching himself to a tree before... Eh, no. I would say storm, but it looks just not like nightfall of some sort. Uh, Psyduck leaning against a tree by the water's edge. You know, that's the second time we've seen something in the background like that, and I'm really curious of what it is. Uh, the little rocks in the background there, I guess you could say. I guess they are just rocks, but uh, we got a chat dot near a volcano. Or, you know, even though that is a volcano, it just looks like it's erupting molten cheese from this angle. Or this distance, I suppose you could say, and the coloring of it. It just looks like freaking cheese. Um, we got ourselves a combi. A female combi, to be exact. Uh, going to the flowers. A Kamado. A Husainian quillfish. No, that's not even quillfish. Overquill. Overquill. Oh, he finally got a freaking uh, evolution of some sort? That's freaking cool. Overquill indeed. This is some big old quill we got there, boy. Energy Lotto. And for the reverse, ooh! We got Flapple, and it's with that boy whose name I don't know. That's so adorable, though. Good old Flapple. I'm glad they brought these kind of cards back, because that was one of my favorite things out of uh, Cosmic Eclipse was those type of cards, and we got a shaman in a flower field. Ah, these, that's just mm, beautiful. Alright, what we got for the next pack? Something good, maybe? Alrighty, so let's see, we got ourselves a grass energy to start us off, hair across in the forest. I didn't notice the, um, I guess he's, he's at the edge of the forest because there's a, you can clearly see the mountain in the background. Eevee in the clearing. Oh, look at this pen ward art. Oh, that's so cool. I love the background. It's... I don't know how to describe it, but it's unique is a good way to describe it. Barboach by the ruins, mischievous in the city. Yeah, Mega flying over the island. <laughs> Duat hanging out in what looks to be a fountain. A Bronzong. Oh my gosh. Like... I love the line art for the Bronzong as well as that background. That background is just, mm, that it, whatever it is, it looks great. I love it. The greens and the oranges and the pinks, mm, just good. Oh, we got ourselves the red ice smashing some ice as our reverse. Ooh, our rare is a Husanian Typhlosion V. Um. Is that? No, that's not the full art, or the alternate full art, I guess you could say. It's just the normal guy, but that is some good art anyways. I love that. Freaking, I love Depressed Typhlosion. I relate to him so much. All right, looks like we just got a couple more packs to go. All right, let's see. We got ourselves another steel energy to start us off, followed up by Togepi sitting on a fence. A Nicket with his berry. Ralts in the flower field. Combi pollinating the flower. Pseudo walking around camp. A Golduck looks like he's right in, at the coast of the ocean. 
a cranny dose walking through words a nursery plant nursery that's what it's called temple of Sinnoh. that is freaking cool looking for our fancy reverse we got a bastiodon and for the rare we got ourselves a ridgy rock very nice that's that boy right there Alrighty, boys, that time has come once again where we get to find out is a last pack best pack or not. We've been on a roll lately. Let's see if we can pull it off again. Got ourselves a fighting energy to start us off up a teal for uh, hanging out with some flowers and plant. Psyduck leaning on the tree. Cricket tot on the branch. Oh, oh, that's beautiful art. Freaking with the sun behind it and the reflection and just, mm, mm. That's some beautiful ponytail art. Um, chat Tot with the cheese volcano in the background, an unidentified fossil that appears to have both dome, claw, no, whatever. You know what? I'm giving up. Noctowl hanging out. Let's see. He's flying above. Once again, might be the same volcano he's near. Eh, it looks like to be a different one. All right, we got Kamado, a Puchiana sniffing out in the snow for our reverse. And for this rare, could it be good enough to... No, sir. But we have an Adaman, as a, an Adaman Hollow as our final rare, which would result in a no for last pack, best pack for this episode. Well, the streak can't last forever, I suppose. But as always, boys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time for another TCG online pack opening.